So we got a call for a box truck that is stuck in some mud due to a livestock watering debacle. So we were heading out here to see if we could get them out and I ran out of gas in the banana. I don't know, the Jeep just died. Uh-oh. Uh-oh indeed. We're out of gas. The gauge says we've got a quarter tank. Oh my. That's best case scenario though. Yeah, but I'm gonna get roasted. You haven't even shot your intro yet. We don't even need to show it. But we're gonna though. <laughs> Luckily, Trevor was following us in the rollback. So we're gonna go get some fuel and then we're gonna head to the job. And I'm so embarrassed because I'm telling people I don't always run out of gas. It just looks like it because of the way some things that happen and the, the videos we drop. But in reality, here we are again. But really quick, in a nutshell, we've got an aftermarket fuel gauge and it's looking like when it's reading a quarter tank, I'm actually out, out of fuel. So... What we should do luckily is, we had the tow truck with us yeah this worked out really good <laughs> worked out really really good and i'm gonna give winter towing a five star review <laughs> and i'll mention trevor by name Happy or mad? You can be both. <laughs> Trevor. Hey. Oh, I guess I was the last one to drive it technically because I pulled it up on the porch to clean it. That was a 15 minute delay. Not too bad. I've delayed longer than that before. It might be a personal best. This is the least delay I've ever done, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Alright. Well. I'm running out of room for improvement. You can wear a smile <laughs> on your face because you set a new record. Whoever watered the cows just left the water on for at least overnight. And when they tried to move the truck, it was, I think it was already sunk in, then they tried to move it. That made it worse. Worse? Hello, Liza. How do you do? I'm writing you a letter. I hope it treats you right. Shooting across the sky. So we're going to set the roll back right here. Going to put it on a snatch block, pulling this way. I don't know if we're going to be using the Jeep. It kind of depends on how this first pull goes.
Yeah, that was in there. Pretty sure it's same seats on the way home. <laughs> Solidly, the differential was on the ground right there. All right. Well, somebody's getting a shirt. Who gets the shirt? Here you go, buddy. Oh, look at that, dude. Look. You like right that? Look at you. It was made for you, dude. <laughs> That's okay. You're welcome, yeah. buddy. Here. Here we go. Cool. Boom. <laughs> What's your sister's name? Ava. Ava. Hi, Ava. You give knuckles, Ava. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, that's that. So we got a call for an RV that's stuck on uh, Smith's Mesa Road. We're gonna head up there and see if we can get it back onto the pavement and back on its way. We got Ed here. Yeah, it's a little cloudy, no wind, which is unusual. And it's getting hot, it'd be up about 102. And uh, we'll find them and we'll get them out. I'm back here in the back seat all by myself, but it's gonna be a good day. We got Trevor and Skeeter and Tucker and the banana back there in case we need some extra muscle. We're gonna head on up here and get them out. So we're following, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. We got, got Peanut here. She's just a good girl. We're going out to get this RV. We might need two vehicles. We might need two crews. This is a big production today. We're a big vehicle. Can you guess where we're at? We're at Maverick Adventures first stop. I remember what side. That shock is hanging down. Is that what it is? Oh. Yeah. You have to fix that. No, there's also this too though. That's stuck up in here. Oh, is that? Yeah. Just kidding. I spun it. Chase Keeter, jump in there. Okay. When we heard this was an RV, we didn't have any pictures and we didn't have a good description of the situation. So we bought both vehicles, but we don't, we're not gonna need both vehicles. So we're a little bit overstaffed. Brought a gun to a knife fight. Let's go over the step. Packing brakes, seat belt, in gear, traction control, we don't have any of that stuff. I guess it's good to close. I was just going to leave the door open, but we don't want to rip the door off. Peter, tiny bit of gas. Okay. That was easy. I don't know what else to say because it was so easy. <laughs> I was like, what's that talking? Look. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. I thought there was ghosts in here or something. <laughs> You're small too. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Skeeter must have pushed the easy button this morning. Pretty easy. You just gotta make sure there's no like little kids up in the attic that are gonna scare you when they're giggling. Oh, I'm just glad it was you and not me. I would have screamed. I was literally <laughs> looking back in the RV like, where's that coming from? <laughs> it's right above my head. So we got a call for a car that is stuck in some sand down by the river in Washington. We're gonna head out there and see if we can get them out and on their way. We are in the Tangerine because so the banana's headed out to the Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. It's getting loaded up in the Milestar trailer right now as we speak. And uh, we're gonna be without it for uh, about a week and a half. So all of the duties fall onto the Tangerine. We're gonna see if it's up to the task. Gonna do a little test today. She'll be able to handle it. It is a beautiful day. It's barely sprinkling. It's about 85 degrees. And we got Peanut with us today. Peanut, right here. And we'll get them out. They're down there somewhere. The river's flowing. Yeah, you're not gonna to want to spin your wheels at all. Okay. In fact, I think I'm gonna want them about right there. Did it just catch you and suck you well, in? Or? Yeah, well, when I was backing up, it went off the road, and you couldn't really tell from the. I thought I could see where I was on it, but it's pretty narrow. Yeah, yeah. So I just did a little a spit off, and it went off the side and as soon as they did I'm like oh I gotta back out of this and then it just the sand just sucks you in yeah it's like a snowbank <laughs> well that went pretty good yeah. all right well that wasn't too bad we're gonna head back to the shop got anything to say Lizzie did he just get stuck again um, I'm gonna drive that car out So, getting it out of there, we knocked the exhaust pipe off. Something between the down pipe and the mid pipe, we'll say. Anyway, we're, he's gonna follow us back to the shop. We're gonna put it up on the lift and see if we can figure out what happened and if we've got what we need to fix it. gone any better okay so here's the problem right here that, that just got bent is that the only thing that's wrong with it, it just got bent all right that's that Did it. All right, I'll get the gate for you. Sounds great, appreciate it. Okay, you have a great day.